Hello, guys. Yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> it's been a very, very long time. Um, background. It's been a long time since I've come on to a Burton Daily episode. You know, there's been so much that's gone off. But it's not that um, I haven't vlogged anything at all. I have. But I've just been focusing more on one of my platforms as opposed to all of my platforms. Even another one that I'm going to start actually getting back on is my um, my Facebook platform. Um, I've just kind of let that die when I didn't need to because actually that was actually creating the biggest numbers for me for my projects. Um, but... Since I was last on this vlog, on the actual YouTube video of vlogging, um, it was prior to the making of my film. And I think maybe where I was, was I was struggling to find a team, maybe. Or I'd found my team, but I felt like it wasn't going to be all together in the time when I needed it to be. Well, you know, I might have been worried about my budget, my finance. But you know what, I'm going to speak of this as a new season so i'm gonna just say this is season two because that's how much of a gap there has been <laughs> um so where are, where are we are where are we where are we we now finished filming that seven day intensive which turned out to sometimes be 12 to 15 hours a day filming literally or organizing or traveling Mindset and sometimes longer, and it wasn't easy. It was very hard, actually. Um, but not hard as in in an unstoppable, in a, in, a, in an impossible way. But it was hard. Like towards the end, towards the end of the filming, um, there were many issues that had gone down, whether it be commitment issues or or timing or. Um, it was mainly commitment issues, really. Everything else, everything else ran smoothly. When I actually think about it, I, the biggest and more formal, for, formal thing I have to be grateful for was the team. You know, the team were incredible. The team became invaluable. And I understand it now. Um, so you're just in my, this is my room which I'm just like, messing with um, because I want to turn this into like my home office properly like I want to turn this into my home office so I can um, just you know make it a little bit more tire and concise a bit better um, more efficient I'm going to put a desk over that side and put like my posters just on this wall and everything like that actually on this wall um put the tv up so i can be editing in here as well and stuff like that um but where are we the team it was in like they were great. they were great like uh, at first i was worried because I, I still felt alone when starting this project but I did feel that as soon as the actual filming started, um, I would start to feel the team that I had, and, uh, and I did. I did start to feel them. Like they, they were invaluable. Honestly, they were invaluable. Um, each and every single one of them were important. The team. Um, but it was still a hard thing because it was. It was. I think mentally, after having finished the filming. With some delays and some hiccups, like I said, that was mainly a commitment issue. Um, <clears throat> that caused different shoot shots to change, different angles to change, which has made me learn a lesson. Because although, like, the my, the contract that I had written and everything was there, it was in black and white, it says not to do this. Um, there wasn't any major consequence in there that was written that 
would have to be liable to if there was a flaw properly. It made me learn something on that. Um, but one thing I feel like has happened now, which is why I've, I've come to speak to you guys and let, and let you know, because, you know, there's been a quite a long time, quite a few times when I've wanted to upload a new video and re-update and I just thought you know what just everything I'm gonna say today just sounds like it's all gonna be negative or just down or just nothing kind of highlighting the positive but I sometimes I had to remind myself and this is the day that I'm gonna be like yeah it's time to come back not just to this but it's time to come come back Hence, this room is being changed now because I've wanted to do this for a little while and I haven't done it. And almost 15 days have gone by and I haven't done any proper progress on this film. Post progress on this film. It's not been me not wanting to, it's not been me wasting time, it's not been me waiting, it's just been unfortunate circumstance my laptop broke that was one of the main reasons as well why i wasn't able to continue vlogging because my laptop broke and my phone is poor um but again that still could have happened and then while the editing this video hasn't finished is because I, I ran out of money i ran out of money that i had to be able to pay for the editing software that I needed to put on this computer for it to work why didn't I go to another place or something and it's because like one of those other studios again that cost me money um so I've mainly been trying to organize the files um now it's okay because I ran out at the right time I mean the day we finished filming Literally that night, I had no that morning, I had twenty pound left in my account, which is insane <laughs> because it means I spent everything, um, but it, everything got spent at the time it was meant to get spent. Um, I did run out of money earlier than I needed to, which is good. Um, means that everyone was able to get fed and everything still, um, but. <clears throat> One thing that um, has happened now is I felt down, like, I'll be honest, this needs to be said because these videos aren't just for my own reflection, but they're for other people. But like, I felt down. I actually felt down. I haven't been able to collect myself properly in the past two weeks and I think it's been because um, the film was so intense and everything leading up to the film was so was so intense you know it was two weeks or a week and a half of long long days thinking about locations people's jobs what they're doing, my own lines, the shots, the angles, the editing afterwards, the sound, I, everything was bubbling around in my mind all at the same time and to the point that my acting at the end of it took a hit which is painful for me to feel, it took a hit. The, the one main reason I'm, I'm doing this actually by the end of it took a, took a bit of a hit which didn't feel right or nice at all um, <clears throat> but yeah um, we're here now and this is where we are we're in a position and we're in a place where when you're feeling like this When you're feeling like you just can't move forward or get up, 
you have to take a moment and regulate your life. You have to. Otherwise, you lose yourself. And even when you feel like you have lost yourself, which these past two weeks, I felt like that, to be honest. Coming off the back of that film, filming, I don't have any energy. I don't have any energy. I feel like I'm partially in limbo. Because I feel like there's still another shot to do. So I haven't been able to fully change my look yet. I've just been in, I've been in limbo and trapped. And you know what's annoying? And this is, this is, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I can let this go. But I'm being honest and freely speaking at the moment. Is that for those that do get a watch of this video. You need to really take a look, I think, at yourselves. Because... There's people that I was speaking to that then would then think because I haven't messaged them when they've messaged me once, maybe even twice, want to take it personally and then just ignore certain aspects of my me in general because they're, they're too stuck in their own mind of what they think their problem is and then they make the problem about themselves all the time just selfish you know it's not always about you that things that happen it's not always about you sometimes it generally is about another person and they just have to shut off in able to in order to get back to their own reality which is what i've had to do and and it doesn't mean that person oh well they've called this person they've called that person yeah of course because sometimes there's certain pockets of people that feel like the right person you need to speak to or hang out with because you've adjusted to their old energy. Not not everyone has the same energy. Not everyone has the same presence. You know, and your presence could be good ninety percent of the time, but then there's that two percent that someone else, someone else's presence or energy is needed. You know, and it doesn't mean you don't like the person or you don't you're not friends with the person or you don't love the person. It's just sometimes. A difference in energy is needed, you know. Even people that are happily married sometimes talk to their colleagues about a problem. Sometimes it's not the best, but you have a certain colleague that you should know. But or sometimes talk about talk about to their friends or the, some often more than not the best person is usually a stranger. You know, someone who you don't really know in that sense. What you feel is right, because that the new energy is completely different. I guess what I'm getting at as well is that it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to feel like everything is shutting down, that nothing's fully moving forward. It's okay to feel like that is happening. You know, I posted a picture on my Instagram of me and a friend, and I titled it, uh, The journey may be far for the eyes, but not for the soul. The journey may be far for the eyes, but not for the soul. For my eyes, for what I can see, it see, it feel, it see, it seems like. Oh boy, there's so much that needs to happen for this to work, but, but there's something deep inside me that keeps on saying, nah, it's not that long. It's not that long. There's not that much that really needs to be done. There is a lot, but there's not a lot. And this is just another <coughs> trial and error. I wouldn't say error, but this is just another 
trial and it's another prototype being produced and created you know but it's gonna work it's gonna work but it's just you have to understand that the fear is a reality as well the fear of thinking that it, it won't work you know I'm not no uh, perfect like genius of thinking of what the problems or things might be or might occur you know but like <clears throat> it's okay I'm saying this to myself but I'm also saying this to anyone else that goes through something and feels like it's not okay it's okay it's okay it is okay you don't have to worry and you know what I don't think persistence is the right word to say here I don't think discipline is the right word to say here you know ambition I don't think that's the right word to say here So what is the right word? It's probably not the first one that just came to your head. You have to remember why. You have to remember why. If you remember the why, you want to do it. And if you don't choose to remember that, then you won't. You know, I've had to say to my workplace just that I need to take less days in my week because I could see where this was going with me and I'm not a person that has problems like that or deals with mad low cases but this has been this is this is a big one this has been this is This isn't, this is a hard one. It is really, really pushing me mentally. It is. You know. And it has, built, it's been building up and it's been pushing me mentally, 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 mentally. Testing me, testing me, testing me. I haven't been the same recently, getting up late, staying in bed, not fully, do you know what I mean, I'm not completely zonked, <laughs> but um, it's not the same as it's where I was before, um, and <laughs> because everything everything has been still, still been building like I bought these calendars on my wall to use that I haven't even been able to properly use you know um, you know like I'm gonna remember this one and I think this is the one that I was uh, struggling to um, build up in the film for a little while now. 
you know, and then I'll go through some of my, um, some of my photos from the project, and, uh, and I'm just, like, uploading them, like, and just when it gets to the day, because the day is going to be May 26th, the day we are definitely screening the film, May 26th, 2018. This year, May 26th. But I go through it and and I do acknowledge that a I, I I finished the script. I wrote I wrote my first 84 page film script. I said I wanted a team that was majority female. And, and I got that, I did that, I represented that, I said I wanted guys hospital, and I got that, no one on my level can say they've done that, and I, and I say on my level, what does that even mean, I guess, I mean, maybe, as an independent filmmaker, I'd, I, I think that the, the, the statement of saying that um, is 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 limited to none you know you know we uh, we traveled all the way to a forest and built a door in the forest and my team stuck by me and we did it together we did this together. I did the uh, the bridge scene which I was talking about. I was doing, and look at look at that. I'm still here, and I'm living, and I'm survived. No broken bones. In another reality, that that could have went completely different. You know, I've done every step of what I said I wanted to do with this film so far. Yeah, there was some unfortunate circumstance of the cast issue at one point. You know, but they're minor things. They're not minor, but I'm sure they're things that can work themselves out, you know. I'm pretty sure they will. And then someone would look at me and say, what do you have to worry about? You know, the pressure's on you. Like, realistically, you've made the film and almost finished it. You could keep filming until May and then release it in December next year. Like actual real films do. They take six months to a year to make the movie and then release it seven months, eight months later. Me, I'm talking about making a film in a week and releasing it within two months. <laughs> Apparently when I laugh like that, my mum says I'm nervous. <laughs> I know, deep down, I have nothing to worry about, but really, none of us do, you know, you know when you're not going to make it, you know when you do, and you know when you allow yourself to be traumatized by your own thoughts and opinions, you know, and you don't need to do it. You don't need to. It's why I say it. it's okay. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna have this room set up, and this will be the monologue room. 
the company name's already there. And I'm Josh Burton. Burton. I am Josh Burton. And he prevails, you know, he keeps on going, he keeps on moving. And for you, whatever your name is, you can do the same. I express to you here today. It's feeling like I'm close to tears when I'm talking, but it's gonna be okay. My next step is just trying to find somehow to edit this film on a laptop. Then I don't know if I can do it on, and if I don't do it on this one, then finding one that I can possibly do on another one, which I don't know yet if I'm gonna get or not. So, we have two months into screening day, technically just a day less than two months, but we have two months, two months to screening day. We also have two months left to lose this week. We have two months left to lose all of this, which is not actually bad, that's what it was. With two months to tighten it, lose it, and turn it into a nice, juicy, hard muscle. This is the challenge of my life. This is the biggest and furthest we've gone so far. But this is what makes the legend be a legend. This is what makes the myth no longer a myth. And this is what makes the story want to share. So stay tuned, stay posted, because this is going to be a big journey. And this was a big episode, but I'm sure you will and have enjoyed it and taken it in. And just before I close this episode because I don't right now know <laughs> I don't right now know um I think okay so this is episode 15 this is episode 15 and I'm going to call this episode You get knocked down but never be knocked out So if you get to the end of this and you find the time to write a comment on this episode Please just write, you get knocked down, but not knocked out. I'm going to just change the word in that. You get knocked down, but never knocked out. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> You can get knocked down, but never knocked out. Yeah. So if you get to the end of this episode, please write. Or even if you see me and say it to me, you can get knocked down, but never knocked out. So remember that and go forward with it. As I stand by here and admit to you that right now I've been knocked down and I feel it. It's up here. But I'm going to get control of it and I am. I've got that super bang and I'm dizzy and I'm nauseous. But I'm getting back up and I'm standing. 